Hi, this is Brian Wilson with the Ace 2-Minute Tech Tips. I'm going to show you today how to use Adobe Express to make curved word art on your images. So I'm going to start with a template that I already made. There's two different text boxes. The top one has the word Voyager on it. The bottom one says launched in 1977. So when you click on the Voyager one, this is a template. I'm going to go ahead and change it to Cassini because I made a Voyager template that I wanted to use and now I want to change the wording in it. So what I did was when I clicked on the word, I've already preset it to have the half circle arc. Now I added spaces at the end to take up the arc space from the right to the left. And now you can see what I'm doing is manipulating the front spaces to get that Cassini spot so it has a better distance between it and NASA. On this one, you'll see that I have two text boxes again, but I have a double layer arch on the bottom. For each of those, if I wanted to change it, I would need to make sure that the spacing is equal on the top and the side to give the spacing underneath the NASA piece and underneath the graphic. I wanted to make sure that the wheels were exposed on the actual background graphic and it kind of matches up with the since 2015. Again, you have one at the top, so you can see both of these options. Now, once you're done, you can use this to create any kind of graphic that has the arched wording on it. On the examples that I have here, this one you have with a turtle, I actually shaped the turtle on one of my other videos and actually did the, um, the layering and the shadowing piece. But I used a partial arch out of the circle. So you can see you're totally awesome actually has a little space between the you're and the awesome part. And I just use those as spaces on the words. I also use this same scheme on my uh, logo for my web page in which I use the whole circle. But down at the bottom, you can see that there's spaces between the always create the always learning and the teach everyday part. And I use lines to sort of have that little wedge piece on top of it as well. As always, you have infinite possibilities when working with Adobe Express. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. Keep creating and always learning.